Hi folks, welcome to the channel. So this is take two. Um, I was just about to go out, um, turn the bike on, TFT wouldn't come on at all. So I fitted um, another USB power supply down here and I fitted it direct to the battery yesterday. I don't know what, what I did. I've checked every fuse on the bike. There are no fuses that are blown, so I, I really don't know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get ready again and then we're gonna head out. So um, today we're going over to Lincoln um, and we're gonna go to Lincoln Cathedral and just have a look around there, just for something to do. I've been stuck in for the last, what, four days because of the storms that are going on. Um, so yeah, it's time to go out, stretch the bike's legs a bit and we'll head over to Lincoln, have a look around the cathedral um, and then head back later. Okay, so I'll see you out on the road. Okay guys, so here we go, just uh, not, a, not a long ride out today, Lincoln's not that far from me, I think the cathedral's probably 30 miles, something like that, it's not far, um, but I needed to get out, I feel like I've been stuck in the house all weekend, because the weather has been truly awful, just con the last two days it just felt like it's rained constantly, with uh, Eunice and then um, Franklin and before that it was Dudley oh Jesus what a what a mess the weather is like I say I, I wheeled the bike out of the garage and turned it on on the driveway um, and I was waiting for the screen to boot up and you know that they're notoriously slow on these Africa twins but literally nothing happened it was completely dead it was just black I thought oh god and like I say, I'd fitted a, a USB uh, port on a, on a cable to drive this camera because the problem is if you use the, the cigarette lighter one there, A, it's very exposed to the weather. Uh, I used blue tack to seal it off, but just where it is, it's quite exposed to the weather. So if you run these cameras with a battery in and they're plugged into the mains, you end up with no end of problems trying to keep them going. They just want to keep turning off or they, uh, they find any excuse not to work properly. So um, I wanted a dedicated full-time power supply that I could run the camera without having to have a battery in it. So when I turned the bike off, the camera would keep running because often, you know, you want to capture bits of footage uh, when you've stopped the bike and you've got off the bike and all the rest of it. I've also fitted one under the seat because I don't know whether you can see there's a, a camera on the top box there. So I fitted a camera to the top box also with a dedicated power supply from the battery so that I don't have to have a battery in that one either. Because when I went out last week, so I was going to make a video but I had so many problems with the cameras. I was going to go somewhere else where I, I didn't actually end up going. I've got, a, I've got a lot going on in my life at the moment that's causing me a lot of stress and uh, the place where I was going to go I didn't end up going. I changed my mind and I, I went for a ride into Lincolnshire. You guys have seen some of those roads so many times but also I was just not in a good place for vlogging basically so um, I sort of gave it up as a bad job because the uh, the me talking on the video was a bit dull not very interesting as per usual you might say but yeah i just binned it basically however what did you think to the intro that i've done it's not always going to be those bits of footage those clips and those photos in that in that uh, intro it will change over time until it settles on something that i really like but um so I've never used uh, an intro section before, an intro segment, you know, I've never been bothered before. 
um, because I always thought that was for people, vloggers, who were sort of successful. But now the channel is sort of picking up, um, you know, more and more subscribers. I, I just wanted to, well, you know, make it a little bit more professional, I suppose. And also it gives me more of an identity. It gives Moto Mogul more of an identity. Let me know what you thought of it. Comments below, please. Anyway, enough talking bollocks for a bit. Uh, go and get yourselves a brew, or whatever is your choice. Uh, take a seat and just enjoy the video, guys. I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm gonna put my music on, a bit of country rocks, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Later. Yeah, everything's fine, mate, yeah. So, here we are then guys, let's go and have a look round. So I just want to show you this one thing that I do remember. If you look up there, you can see that the nave and that, I think it's the western end, the western towers of the cathedral, they don't meet up, the roof bosses don't meet up. Can you see? Look at that bit. Bit of an error. How much is it, please? It's nine pounds for the year. You don't have to pay again for twelve months. Right. Okay. And it's no extra cost for that. Okay. This just admit one person. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah yes. that's fine. So that's just nine pounds, please. Thank you, sir. You can take a photograph of that, but that's your annual pass. Lovely. That's All grand. Right. Thanks very much. I never know whether to wear a mask or not. There's quite a few people not. So just around this corner is the moon.
through that. Time for us to head home, I think. Head back to the bike, head back home, get all this lot downloaded. So this bit of Lincoln is like the posh bit. This is known as Uphill Lincoln around the cathedral. That sort of area. It's um, quite expensive. So we're just going to uh, head back. I'm going to download this data. Have a cup of tea. enjoyed your afternoon out to uh, Lincoln Cathedral don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you on the next video not sure when that's going to be not sure what it's going to be about uh, but I will see you soon anyway okay folks thanks a lot see you soon bye